Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Today we are going to be looking at the use of compressors to add colour to the sound. And the way we're going to achieve this is by getting a compressor, getting a one-to-one -one ratio, zero threshold, so the compression itself is not doing anything but the digital uh, circuitry of the plugin will be adding its own colour or not, depending. Let's find out what's hap going to happen. What I've done is here is I've bust my uh, bass and my drums out so I can, these ones are very, very hot. So you can really hear what they're doing. These ones are usable. Um, and then I've got some on a different drum kit so you can kind of hear on different sounds how they'll work. Uh, the loop which I've got here is made from a, a, a well, it's marketed as a professional sound pack. Let's see if it is. Can I make it sound better? Can I make it stay the way it is? Or would it make it worse? That's a great way to see if the samples are good, in fact, or if they need further processing. Um, let's just start off with the sine wave, see how things are affecting it. You can hear it very easily on a sound sine wave. Uh, we have some graphs here. Sorry. This one kind of has a slow decay, so you can see it changing over time, if you need to. Right, off we go then. Okay, so on instant inspection we notice that the first two and the last two are similar with each other and with each other uh, very flexible this stock compressor here once you engage the limiter it changes the sound so you have access to several tones um, our FET here has a very distinctive tone to the other ones and the MSI impressor has again a different sound the Rough Rider which is a digital compressor and although it's sort of maxed out as much as possible while trying to keep the levels is doing absolutely nothing because it doesn't have any real circuitry that it's emulating so that's that kind of explains to you the, di the difference between digital and analog um, let's try it on the uh, on the drums to see uh, how they differ Okay, so what we can see again is that this, this, uh, the effect is similar. These are a similar kind of type, first two and the last two, and then again, uh, the fourth year. They have a, sim a similar sort of type of, uh, of, of overdrive. They do sound different, but they seem to be the same sort of family, whereas the other two have their own kind of flavor to them. Okay, let's have a look at the drum bus with some more user-friendly settings. So we're getting a little bit of saturation, not a huge amount. Let's try and play with the limiter as well. So what I've done is I've put the settings in the place where it's not actually wrecking the sound. It's just kind of trying to add to it, but it's not adding anything useful, this particular one. Let's have a look at this one. do sound different but again it's not really adding anything useful let's try the impressor this one has a more kind of squashy feel I like to call it and uh, I think that this one could be used for this particular um, example because it is in fact adding some something new and something useful let's move on kind of has almost uh, like a ha on the bass drum when that one when that one hits um, I'm not sure if again it's something that I'd find useful but um, perhaps perhaps uh, 
um, the preamp is just uh, it's adding a little bit you could do without it really quite happily um, let's see how these work on a different drum kit as I said the impressor was something that might be worth putting at the end of on your at the end of your drum bus um, you could live without it for this particular way which means that these have been produced very well I don't think there's anything that you kind of need to really do to them um, Okay, let's have a look at a different drum, drum kit. So these two are quite similar, I guess, but the uh, the alpha is more. That's why it's called the alpha. It's it's more punchy than this one. This one's kind of a bit more. I don't know, loose sounding, um, and because it's got that limiter, without the limiter, I don't really like it so much. <laughs> I think both of these are quite nice for this. They, they certainly add a little bit of something, something. It depends what you're looking for, really. Let's have a listen to the Empressor. Even without doing any compression, it's kind of slapping the sound a little bit, this one, which I quite like. It's adding a bit of depth. maxed out and it's not it's doing something but not a huge amount hmm, preamp not so useful okay so let's uh round up everything that we've sort of seen so we can add color to our sounds using compressors not all of them of course the 1176 you'll notice here has a one-to-one -one ratio most different most emulations from different companies of this don't do that so this is a very useful feature that they've added to this one normally you have a four to one ratio as minimum um, so they can all they can all all the examples that we uh, use today can in fact uh, add color. However, as we've seen, some work better than others for different uh, applications. Some don't need some applications don't need to be further kind of driven because th the samples are done well already, uh, and that's great. However, with the with the recording of a real drum kit, which is well, it's not what this is, but it's kind of what it's based on. Um, then you can really bring something else to it. And I think that a bit of extra saturation can really add some liveliness. And of course, uh, if you were to compress it, this, the, the, uh, the signal, then you would um, uh, be adding extra liveliness to it as well. One thing that I didn't mention yet is, can we do anything to the, the, to the drum bus here to actually make the, the dubstep beat sound in any way better? And perhaps we can. I've got this very kind of interesting pumping compressor that uh, we might just give it an extra bit of pop, which would make these uh, instruments sound, or yeah, sure, the drums sound maybe a little bit better in the mix, make them cut through a little bit better. Let's have a listen. Just a little bit more, you know, poppy. There's more pop at the start. I've given it a bit of attack to let some transients through a nice quick release, two to three gain, kind of about four to one ratio, and just kind of try to match the level. So in this case, maybe if we had this in the in the mix, it might do something. But with the others, maybe apart from the impressor, I don't think I would bother, because adding effects to something just for the sake of adding effects to something can often be more detrimental than it can be useful. 
Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you for joining me again today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.